this video, I would like to talk about the feature matching. Feature matching is also a very useful skill in graphic processing. Suppose we have several images of the same place taken from different angles. Feature matching can help us to find common features in the images very quickly. Whether the photo is zoomed in or out, or is a photo taken after another photo is translated or rotated. Feature matching can help us quickly locate the obvious features associated between the pictures and connect them. So before we started to talk about how to do feature matching, I want to show you how a feature matched picture would look like and what can feature matching actually do. So here is two images taken from the same place. You can see that uh, the only difference between them is just they are taken from different angles. And now let's see how the image will look like after feature matching. And in here, you can see there's a lot of red dots here and some green plus sign. And there are yellow lines between these red dots and green plus sign. So this dot and plus sign, they are features detected from our original image. And this yellow line could connect them together. So after detecting all features, we can combine two images together to get a one big merged image. And this is our result. You can see because not um, these two images are not taken from the same angle, there's still some places that they could not connect properly, like in this area. But um, other places, they are much very, very perfect. So let's start to talk about how to do feature matching. Before matching features, find features from images will be our first step. There are multiple algorithms for feature detection, and in this video, I will use Harris algorithm for feature detecting. So let's import our image first. And after importing our image, the first step will be find corners and extract features from them. So to make sure feature matching works, one important thing is you must take image from the same ob object. So um, it's an important step to make sure they have same features, otherwise the feature matching doesn't mean anything. Notice that this function requires to use two dimensional metrics and also a gray scaled image as input. So after importing the image, don't forget to change your image into a gray scaled image. And one thing I want to mention again is to make sure feature matching works. It's very important to make sure two images contain same features, meaning you should take them from the same object, otherwise feature matching could mean nothing for images. So let's find the corners. So corner is another expression for features. And also this algorithm is also called Harry's corner detection. So our points will be detected by Harry's corner detection algorithm. And after detect features by using Harry's algorithm, uh, we need to get rid of weak features because Harry's corner detection is kind of sensitive. It will also keep some weak features. So in order to get rid of those weak features, only keep strong features of our image. We are going to extract features from neighborhood features. And next steps will be match all features. And 
retrieve the location of corresponding points for each image. And last thing we need to do is to visualize our corresponding points. Let's run this big shape section. And you can see in this image, there are also two features in green dot and red dot. And when you zoomed in for one feature, you can see that it's connecting the keys together. This is a control button and this is also a control button. And we can also check other features. Because there is still some wrong matchings here because some feature could be very similar so our feature detecting algorithm is not 100% accurate and it's also a reason why we only keep strong features to increase our accuracy here by using the built-in MATLAB function it's very easy to find features inside two images the idea of Harris corner detection is detecting sudden changes such as angles within a range of small sections of pixels. Also, MATLAB offers an option called detect sub features. All you need to do is change the Harris here into sub. So in this video, we went through how to use built-in MATLAB feature detecting function for feature matching. After locating matching points, it won't be difficult to stitch two images together as a large image. With this skill, we can combine two images into one larger view. Hope this video helpful.